Hi, I'm Dr. Papia Bhattacharji. In this problem, we have the equations of two planes that are given to us. And we have to figure out if these planes are, they're parallel to each other, perpendicular to each other, or neither. Now we also have ways of finding, comparing two planes, whether they're parallel or perpendicular to each other. So in general, say if we have two equations of planes given this way, a1x plus b1y plus c1z is d1, and a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2, then they will be parallel if there exists some constant, non-zero constant k, so that this a1 and a2, b1, b2, and c1, c2, they are all proportional. So almost as if the, the expression for one plane is a multiple of the other one, the same multiple. So that's why a1 is k times a2 and b1 will be again the same k times b2 and same for c. Okay, so that's when they are parallel. And perpendicular will be when, when you multiply these constants and add them together, so a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2, that's going to be equal to zero. Okay, so we have these two planes right here. Now let's, let's write down, see for the first one, a1 is 5, b1 is negative 3, so that's the constant attached to y, and c1 will be, since it's just z, constant is 1. And for the second one, we have a2 is 1, because x has nothing else, y has the constant 4, so b2 is 4, and c2 is 7. Now, just looking at them, you see that the first condition is not satisfied, right? Because is there a constant so that a1 and a2, they're multiple, there's 5 and 1, but then b1 and b2, that can be the, there can be the same constant that you can use to make them proportional. So definitely, they are not parallel. What about perpendicular? So let's calculate a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2. Let's see what that is. So we have 5 times 1, a1 and a2, plus b1 and b2 is negative 3 times 4, and c1, c2 is 1 times 7. So this is 5 minus 4 times 3 minus 12 plus 7, and 7 plus 5 is 12, so this is 0. So it's satisfying the second condition. And that's telling us that these two planes, they are perpendicular to each other. So our answer is perpendicular. Thank you.